Hey, welcome to Red Eye. It's like CNN without the incontinence. We're here with Rachel Marsden, Bill Schultz. You're a jerk. <laughs> Janice Dean, Yay! Foxcaster, as I like to call her, the Foxy Caster. Oh, thank you. I had to come back. My oh. tongue has never gotten more promo. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, and on remote, from London, we have Mr. Kevin Godlington, former British soldier, and uh, runs KevinGodlington.com, kind of a charity website for uh, uh, veterans, and is the managing director of Tree Jumpers Adventure Center. And we also have Samantha Judge, Hi. Maxim Gossip Guru. Hi, Samantha. How are you? All right, so I was just standing here, and uh, Janice sent me an email. Uh, a breaking news, or slicing news. Deep pain pizza. Man cuts off his own penis in a London restaurant. This is an important story. You don't get stories like this uh, that come around often. He chopped off his penis with a knife in front of horrified diners at a busy restaurant called ZZ in the Strand, London at 9 p.m. Sunday. Kevin, where were you? <laughs> um, I, I realize that there's some concern here that I may have cut my own penis off, but you can be resting. <laughs> Actually, we're overjoyed. I haven't. Um, I didn't do it. I don't know who did, and I don't frankly believe the story's true, and I think you're lying. No, I got it right. Right here in my Blackberry, so it's true. Can you read that? It's right there. No, uh, sadly, Greg, I can't, and okay. I'm still riling over the fact that Bill called you a jerk. Oh, I know. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm more curious as to why this fellow did this. Let's dig deep into rage. his brain. It's roid rage. In did he need in more which sausage? Case, well, no. <laughs> it's, if it is roid rage, it's minimal damage for sure. <laughs> I don't know. I just, you know, I just, I feel bad for the people that were eating there because if you are, if you did have a sausage pizza or maybe meatballs or something like that, immediately <laughs> you should be allowed. You should be allowed to get a refund off your pizza. <laughs> You know? Uh, well, have you ever had this urge? Has anyone here had in the urge male to persuasion? To you uh, have uh, penis? Do you have an hour? When do I not have that urge? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to move on. Because we actually had a bigger story, but now it doesn't seem as important. Cheryl Crow, Cheryl Crow on our website, says that in order to help protect the environment, we should restrict or perhaps ban excessive use of toilet paper, meaning when we go to use the toy toy in a public place, we only use one <laughs> toy toy. <laughs> only use one, one, one uh, square of toy Unless it's really messy, then you could use three. And there are times when women are in the bathroom and you run out of toilet paper and you have to use a towel. So am I helping what? the environment by using? I just okay. use I use my sleeve. Well, I'm she'll be making honest. up. She'll be making up for the lack of toilet paper by using excess detergent and hand soap. I think with it's like what does she think she needs to do? She dated a guy who Lance Armstrong who rides millions of miles on a bicycle. I think she's done her part just by proxy there. Mm. Now, when did she say this? Did she say this while she was accosting Cal Carl Rove? No, I, think it was on her, I think it was on her website yesterday. Mm. Now she's claiming she's joking, but you've never come across a joking environmentalist. They have no sense of humor. What are you doing, Samantha? Are I, you just, I have something in my eye. I can't, oh. I can't get rid of it. I, don't know. <laughs> I hope that's only one piece of yeah, tissue. Yeah. Kev, Kevin, you spent a lot of time in the wilderness being a soldier. Cheryl hates her. Do, do yeah, we, uh, int interestingly, you see, as a kid, we used to shoot crows, and I'm not sure where this is sort of... <laughs> correlation here but maybe we should try that also the French don't use toilet paper at all and you can imagine the hygiene standards there so maybe we should give it a go I don't know Rachel do you think we use too much toilet paper never really thought about it that much Greg and I prefer to still not think about it too much I think about it I, I think that that's Rachel. the main thing about this this whole thing is that I don't really want to talk about how many squares I use well this is the, the here's the funny thing this is an actual talk show yeah. in which we have topics one <laughs> no, of the topics like, is this but subject I mean, no well, what I think what's really interesting here is is um, Cheryl Crow and Lori David uh, Larry David's wife the Seinfeld creator are touring college campuses trying to encourage all these university students to protect the environment. I mean, it's kind of a done deal already. It's, right. it's a little redundant. And did we talk about the fact that she's using this uh, bus that's supposed to be Bio. warming Bio friendly? Right. In the meantime, if you look at uh, the smokingdone.com, Gun. yes. they have a list that she has six cars mm -hmm. that follow her, right. uh, right. other buses that follow the this bio-friendly oh, yeah, yeah. bus. Whatever happened to Jane Fonda's Crisco-powered bus? Remember that? She had this uh, bus that she was going to go on a big tour with all the war vets who were against the Iraq war and they were going to power it with vegetable oil. Whatever happened to her Crisco know. bus? I don't know. Maybe they just yeah. fried up or something. I <laughs> think <laughs> Cheryl Crow was drunk when she said this and yeah. that's, that's her alibi. I think so too. <laughs> Bill, how much toilet paper do you use over the course of, say, an hour? <laughs> I don't, Greg. Uh, never have and never will. Um, but that's because I'm an all right, all right. I just use my hand. Oh, okay. just, um, nice. yeah, just move a little. <laughs> From, uh, well, let's move on to something less disgusting. Right. Uh, like right. uh, one in four work computers has porn on it. Let's see. There's four of us on the show. <laughs> uh, it's not me. I know that. 
Uh, it's, it's not Greg, actually. I know it's not Greg. It's, yeah, it's, it's not Rachel. There you go. <laughs> sorry, Mom. Show some emotion. Sorry, no, Mrs. I, I sorry, spent Mrs. It all Schultz. On the computer. Sorry, Mrs. Schultz. <laughs> I mean, for your son. Yeah. I got it from her. <laughs> That's horrible. Sorry, wow. Mom. That's just. Yeah.